And finally, this weekend, some of you may have enjoyed the beauty of the supermoon from your rooftops. The Save India's coast team was fortunate enough to be able to experience this from out on the Arabian Sea. We try to capture this experience for you on our cameras. We hope you enjoy it as much as we did. Good night. We set off on a 168-mile-long journey with nothing in sight but aqua blue waters for company. Our mode of transportation, a 40-meter yacht with 2,000 horsepower. The Avior moves ahead at 8 knots an hour, powerfully cutting through the waters of the Arabian Sea. As we left Goa, where we boarded the Avior, all the newspapers and news channels were abuzz with news about the supermoon and the rough and unpredictable effects it could have on the high seas. And this newspaper clipping from 1912 doesn't help bolster our confidence either. But the 11-member crew, all experienced sea hands, dismiss our trepidations. Concerning high tides, there's hardly any difference. So there's nothing to worry in terms of tides. And moreover, um, at sea, you know, there is a lesser effect of the tides as compared to when on shore. We have no choice but to wait. For what we're told will be a moon of unparalleled beauty. Is it our imagination or are the waves getting choppier? These fishermen don't seem to be perturbed. In fact, some of the fish that you're, you'd be eating on board has been bought from them. And uh, the only so we reason... know it's going to be fresh tonight. Yeah, it's out. going to be fresh tonight. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the only reason you don't see many of the boats around is because we are keeping a good 12 to 13 miles off the coast to avoid the fishing traffic, so that we have to avoid alterations and keep away from the nets. And it's nothing to do with the super moon stuff that you hear. As night sets in, a full moon of rare size emerges. According to NASA, it's the biggest moon in 18 years, 40% bigger and 30% brighter than regular moons. It's called a peregrine moon and causes extra high peregrine tides. But as we found out, it was nothing to worry about. Myths and stories about the Armageddon and disaster caused by the supermoon abound, none with any scientific basis. What is fact is that the only disaster that we've seen is taking place a lot slower, the decimation of our coast, which is what our campaign hopes to bring your attention to. As far as the moon is concerned, it's big and beautiful and so far untouched by human intervention. And from here out on the high seas, we hope it stays that way. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, fastest scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free, ndtv.com slash apps.